Hello, welcome to my vlog. I'm Alicia Dreaming and today we're going to be talking about reading hacks for when you're depressed and I'm wearing my, um, this is my happy place shirt with the, uh, from Tea Turtle and oh, okay, like I need to actually like stand up and show my outfit sometimes. We'll, we'll talk about that later, but okay. So I had, um, I have some vlogs about personal updates about what, why I've been having a hard time being depressed and stuff. I'm not going to talk about it, um, but I'm going to put a link to the, to that video for my June update right here. And, um, like July has actually been really great for me reading wise. I've been, um, getting a lot read, but I wanted to share some reading hacks for when you're depressed. Okay. So. Um, just quick overview. If you didn't want to click on that other video, I had shingles in May and I had two UTIs within like two months and then a lot of migraines because they put me on some hormones to regulate my cycle. And that was, uh, that messed up my, um, my migraines a lot. I was having like three to four migraines a week for about a month and it was, it was, it was hard. So, okay. Number one. Um, try picking up your favorite comfort tropes first. Look at it like fanfics. Okay. So like, do you like hurt comfort, angst, fluffy romance? Check out your favorite fanfic writers. Um, they're good reads or slide up into their DMS for, um, for suggestions of, of what actual books have inspired them. Like, you know, like other, cause you have to like, I mean, there's no, there's no such thing as, uh, as bad reading, I would say, but like when you're trying to read and do like book talk and stuff and you're just like not finding anything that, that hits that fan fiction, like, um, urge sweet tooth. I would, I would call it sweet tooth because it's like, you know, you live in the head of your, your character's for a while you get to live in their heads for a while and it's like I love some of those tropes applied in anything and I would rather read books so I can do like reading challenges and stuff and obviously book talk and uh, you booktube and stuff so okay so hit up your favorite fanfic writers um, check out their goodreads or um, ask them what books they love uh, I Number two is join a challenge. For example, every year for the past five years, I've been doing my local library summer challenge. And like one year, the first year that I, I think it was the first year that I did it, I won a medal. And that was, I mean, how often are you going to get a medal as an adult? You know, I mean, I'm 30, I was like 33, I think when I got that medal and I was like so happy about it. I was like, I read so much. Um, it, it was fun, but like, that's, what got me back into reading this time around with all of my health problems was like, Oh, I, I want to at least win my free book from, from the books that they're getting rid of, you know, cause they, they get rid of books, um, and books that they're pulling out of circulation and books that, the, that have been gifted to them and that they don't need anymore. And so like, I like, getting a free book from them. And so like, all you have to do to get the free book from them, I think is read a couple of books. I really don't think it's that many. And you get a tote if you read like 500 points worth. And that's only like five books with five reviews. So it's really not that hard. So anyways, number three, try audiobooks. Um, this might be because I probably have ADHD. I mean, it's undiagnosed at this point, but like, um, I, have problems with stimulation and um like when I write for example I ha I need very specific music to write so like if it's for fanfics I like to listen to the soundtracks of the show or movie and um it puts me in the the groove for that particular fandom but um or instrumental music for original fiction so and then like when I'm on Tumblr, I also have to put the TV on to have something going on in the background to like switch, like have like, it, I don't know what's something about the stimulation. I, I just can't 
focus on one thing for too long. Like when I'm depressed, I, I need several things going on. Okay. So audiobooks are really good for doing mindless chores, like folding laundry, doing dishes, sweeping. Um, I like to listen to dance music also when I'm, when I'm doing the dishes, but the dishes, I mean, come on, it's not going to take you more than half an hour to do, to put away a load of dishes and put another load in the dishwasher. So honestly, um, you can put a good audiobook on and I like really enjoy having an audiobook to listen to in the dark when I'm going to sleep. Um, Sometimes I accidentally fall asleep and I lose my place, but I just, just, you know, rewind, just hit the back button and go back about half an hour or so. And that usually does the trick. Um, okay. So number four, if you need more help to get into audiobooks, try something smaller, like short podcasts. Oh, my favorite recent, um, uh, short podcast was Batman Unburied and it was so good. I might have to do a review on that podcast. Um, but try something, try to find out if you prefer a full cast or a sing or prefer a single person, because that will help you narrow down your choices with audiobooks as well. Some audiobooks go all out with full casts and stuff. And, um, in other books like just has maybe two points of view. And so they have, have those two voices, um, but yeah, like try to find out what you like or what, what kind of things you like in audiobooks because it's, it's, it's a little different from just reading a book. And okay. So like, uh, number five, reward yourself for listening or reading. I think this is, um, essential to like when you're depressed and you need to get incentivize yourself. I've tried different apps that gamify doing different activities and different goals and like to do tasks and stuff, but I've never really stuck with them in the long run because I need the space on my phone, but rewards for listening and stuff is like going along with a challenge. You know, if you hit, you know, your, you, if, if you read a book in a week, you know, like, um, reward yourself with like ice cream or Starbucks or, I don't know. Like if you don't want to do food and you just want to reward yourself in another way. Um, some things that I do for fun are like, um, self care things that, you know, you, you, you put off and you put it off and you put it off because you figure, Oh, well I didn't finish enough stuff and I don't, I don't deserve to have that thing because I didn't, I wasn't productive enough. And that's a really hard thing for me when I'm depressed. Cause I'm like, I'll be like, I didn't do enough. I don't deserve to have the nice things. I don't deserve to have the media that I've been looking forward to. So I'm just going to toil away doing my chores. And that sucks because like listening to an audiobook and reading, it is productive. It's not just something that you do for fun. It's also engaging your mind and like trying to get out of the depressive episode, you know? So you really need to um, reward yourself for, for reading and being able to concentrate. And it's, you know, your depression is hard. You can't concentrate. You can't focus on stuff. Okay. Uh, number six. But, <coughs> oh, sorry. Okay. Try reading other books by your favorite authors. This one's really good. Um, I recently, um, went back to, um, what's her name? Shannon McGuire. I think it, it is, um, Toby Day, the Toby Day series. I read the first one about, I think last year, the Toby Day series. And so like I started the, the next one and, and then it returned. I have to, I'm back on the waiting list for it again. But like I went, I read like a couple of chapters within an hour and, that wasn't even an audio book, you know, like that was the, that's the only book that I, I mean, ebook or, or, or like physical book that I've been, that I've read that hasn't been audio in a while. And it's just because it's, that's one of my favorite authors. Anna McGuire is really cool. 
Um, number seven, try reading older books you loved. It's still reading. Try them in different formats too. If you've never heard your favorite books in audiobook form, try that. One that I really loved, um, for example, was the book World War Z. I, I know the movie sucks. It's a terrible adaptation. It's not even an adaptation. It's just something else. It's some other junk called World War Z. And, um, but the audiobook, um, they have two versions, an abridged version and a full version, and they both have casts. And I, um, I got it from the library, but I can't remember if I finished it because I was, it was during the school year and I was working a lot, but I really liked hearing the different voices because it was a great cast. It had a lot of, a lot of stars reading the, the different stories. Um, so yeah, just try them in a different format, audiobooks, try, um, like, you know, older books that you love their, their favorites for a reason. Maybe you have a different opinion on them this time around. Just get yourself back in, just try a whole bunch of, <laughs> just try all your older books and audiobook now because Maybe it'll be easier for you to concentrate on them because it's a story that you've already heard and, or, you know, you've already read it, you know, what's going to happen. So like, if you miss like 10 minutes worth, you, you'll be able to dive back in without having to rewind because you already know, you, you, you can follow the gist of it. You know, you don't have to rewind for every little single thing. And number eight, remove distractions, read in bed with the lights off if you're still having a hard time. Okay. I accidentally said that one before. So, um, oops. Yeah, like read in bed with the lights off if you're doing an ebook, of course, on your phone or a, uh, an e-reader. Um, I like, like I said, I like listening to audiobooks in the dark. I have little, like a little um, lights that so, they're supposed to simulate the sky, but I mean it's green stars and and like clouds moving along, and um, I like watching that with my glasses off or on and while I'm listening to the book and just like let my eyes close and rest a little bit. Cause sometimes I have insomnia and it's really hard for me to fall asleep. And like I've slept a total of maybe eight hours in the past two days cause I have insomnia and I need to start taking my, um, uh, trazodone. But yeah, so that's just depression for you. You know, like, I, the insomnia, the, the lack of, so yeah, like I, but I'm really getting through a lot of books. I've gotten through quite a few. I will be doing book reviews on them, um, coming up, but I'm scheduling them out. So like, I'm going to bank a bunch of, um, videos. And so I don't know what video I'm going to post next. But hopefully this helped you. Let me know if you have other suggestions for reading, um, reading hacks for when you're depressed, um, other ways to incentivize yourself. I know that I didn't cover incentivizations. Inc oh, okay, that's not a word. Incentives. I didn't color. I didn't cover incentives very well because I think of like food and Starbucks and and like self care things that I deny myself sometimes when I'm depressed. Um, but there could be other things. I don't know. Maybe you could keep like a little chart and, um, or like a little book log of what your thoughts were and then, um, or join something like book talk or you book tube or something to be like, yeah, look, I read all these books. I have all these videos, all these reviews. And it's just, it's something else to do to keep you busy when you're depressed and not just like zoned out watching TV which you can also watch, I should probably do like what you can do to but make you feel productive video while you're depressed. Okay. I'm going to think about that one and talk to you later. Have a good one. Bye.